Hey y'all, welcome back to Mima's house. And today is the last video in my series for Valentine's Day. You didn't even know I had a series, did you? But anyway, I did a few um, videos on some Valentine's things, some treats, and then a Valentine's dinner. And now I'm going to make a Valentine's dessert. It is a red velvet poke cake. So let me get my apron on and we'll get to cooking. Here are the ingredients that we'll be using for our red velvet poke cake. It's a Valentine's poke cake. And of course you know the ingredients will be listed down in the description box. I hope you enjoyed today's video and make a comment if you are planning to make this poke cake for Valentine's Day. Of course we'll start with making our cake and you know I don't usually do much with box cakes but when I'm doing a poke cake I usually use a box cake mix and this is no different. The only thing is generally with a box cake I kind of doctor it up and I put some other ingredients in other than what's on the box but this time I'm using the ingredients that are listed on the box and I'm making the box cake based on what the instructions are on that box. You know what I do. I always put all of my wet ingredients together, then I add my contents of the box. Now, here I'm whipping up the eggs, the oil, and the water because I want those eggs to get a good volume because it will allow my cake to have be nice and fluffy. Now that my liquid ingredients or wet ingredients are all combined and nice and fluffy, and remember my eggs are at room temperature, I'm going to go ahead and add the contents of the package. And we'll just mix this until the, all the ingredients are combined. I don't want to overbeat it. Okay, the cake batter is all mixed and let's go ahead and prepare our pan. I do have a 9 by 13 pan. I'm going to I put some parchment paper on the bottom, but I'm going to spray those edges that I can see with a little bit of spray. We've tapped it down and we're going to put it into a 350 degree oven and we'll bake it according to the package instructions. Okay, the cake is done. That was pretty quick. The cake is done. I'm going to go ahead and make my filling. And the filling is going to be a chocolate pudding. I'm using regular Jello cook and serve pudding, the big box. I'm going to not put in the three cups of milk that it requires or that the package instructs me to. I'm only going to use about two and a half cups 
because I want that pudding to be a little bit thicker than the regular pudding. So I don't want any lumps in my pudding so I'm going to stir this and I'm going to stir this as long as it's on the heat so that I can know that I don't have lumps and that it would be nice and smooth. y'all so I'm stirring my chocolate pudding this is a very easy and decadent dessert we want easy but we want decadent so it calls for a regular cake mix now you know normally if I make a cake with a cake mix I'm gonna doctor that cake mix up but for this particular cake I'm only doing it based on what the requirements are on the box. So I made the cake just like it says on the box in a 13 by 9 inch pan. I'm stirring my my pudding and I'm making just your regular jello pudding. The only thing is I'm putting less milk in it because I want it a little bit thicker than your regular jello pudding. Okay so let me stir this up and I'll be back. You can see how thick this pudding is getting. And that's the consistency you want your pudding to be. Now I'm going to put some plastic wrap on this um, pudding. I'm going to let it cool a little bit, put some plastic wrap on it so the skin won't develop, and then I'll poke my cake and pour it over. You'll see. It's still going to be delicious. Now I didn't have a, a nice Wilton cake board to put my cake on, so I'm making one. And you know how we do sometimes. We have to make things out of what we got around the house. So I just cut a box, so I had Peepaw cut the box and I'm just covering it with some aluminum foil so we can put our cake on. Okay, my cake board is ready. Let's go ahead and flip our cake. Boom, there you go. Cake is done. Pull the parchment paper off and we are ready to go. Now I've let this cool for about 15 minutes. I needed to okay. test it a little bit just to hold my hand over just to see if it's cool enough. And it is. So now I'm going to poke it. Now that it's all poked, I can add my chocolate pudding. Now that this is spread it on, I can go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and let it cool. In the meanwhile, I'll mix together my frosting. So this frosting calls for one block, eight ounce block of cream cheese. That's the only fat that's in there. And one and a half cups of powdered sugar. And two to three tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk.
Now after I get these ingredients all combined and they're fluffy, I'm going to fold in a container of Cool Whip or Whip Topping. Now that the frosting is all fluffy and nice and the cake is cool, we can go ahead and frost our cake. Because this frosting is so light and fluffy, it's very easy to handle, which means I don't have to do too much to make it move. I usually ice my cakes from the center out, which is what I've done here. I, I just pushed all the icing from the center out to the edges, and then all I have to do is go around the edges to make sure that my sides are covered. So that's what I'm doing here, and it's going to be done in just a minute. Now the icing is done, let's put some chocolate chips and these are milk chocolate chips and we'll go ahead and put some decorations on, a little bit of chocolate chip crumble and we're going to add some sprinkles as well. You know how we like sprinkles over here at Meemaw's house. Okay, y'all, so my cake is done and it is frosted, it has the filling in it, and it has my chocolate on it. Now, the reason I added chocolate to the red velvet cake is because the red velvet cake is a chocolate cake. So, it only enhances the chocolate that's in the red velvet. And since Valentine's Day is that day that we generally, customarily give chocolates to those we love, and the one that I love loves chocolate, I wanted to make him a chocolate cake. So, a red velvet cake it is. 
with some nice cream cheese, condensed sweetened milk frosting. So I'm going to cut the cake, but before I do, I gotta take a picture of it so you can see it before you even look at the video. So let's cut it and get my taste testers in here. So here's the finished product. It's not fancy, but it's going to be delicious. So let's get it cut and let our taste testers taste it. Okay, I got my taste testers here. Mm. Is it good? Is it is it is the cake moist? Yes, oh, yeah. yes, it is. Wonderful. Good. Well, I won't taste a piece. I'll eat some for Valentine's Day. All right. Okay, y'all. So that's my cake. My taste tester said it's good. I'm going to wait until I eat my dinner with the one I love and have a happy Valentine's Day. So y'all be blessed and have a good Valentine's Day. Bye. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you give this recipe a try. Also, have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Y'all be blessed. Bye.